You are now. You are now. You are now. You are now watching Gotham Galleria. My name is Eric. I'm from the Low East Side of Manhattan, LES. All right, money making Manhattan, right? Yes, sir. All right, so we're here at the Low Goose on the Deuce. Mm -hmm. We're calling the 2023 celebration that COVID is gone and we're here to celebrate. All right, so I see the fit. Yeah, Snow Beach, you know. Look, look, looking super fresh, right? Appreciate that. Like you straight out the 90s. Let's walk through what you have on first. Okay. Let's start so, off with the anniversary hat. Yes, you know, anniversary cross flag. Yes. All right. Under, Under, also, the cross flags, right? You see? There you go, 1987 with the matching hat, right? You know? Of course, the iconic Snow Beach. Yes, you know. What's the denim? You know, just, just saying, there ain't no polo, just regular. All okay. right. And on feet? Uh, the Nike, you know, some Air Force Ones, I forgot the name of them. The name on the back right there, actually. Uh, how'd you get into polo? Basically, back in the 90s, going to the clubs, you know, I've seen a lot of people wearing polo. I've seen a lot of teddy bears, you know. So that influenced me to, you know, start getting into the polo culture and you know my collection just got bigger as the years went by so how long you been collecting for it's like then the early 90s but you see you have one of the grill pieces on yes in your collection right let's not talk about what you already have right what is something that is a grill for you that you do not possess Good question. Um, and I know your thing is extensive because it's 40 years right now. Yeah, so what I always wanted, which they released recently on the Ralph Lauren app, is the suicide jacket, the suey. Back in the 90s, wearing these outfits, especially the suicide jacket, riding the A-train and all that, that's danger. That's why they named it suey, because it's basically it's like you put in your it's suicide, you win it. That's why it was named yeah, the suey. You have to be able to hold it down. Yeah. Yeah. So it's that like people were getting killed for them. Now it's time to rate the fit. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, what score would you give yourself? I'll give it an eight. My Instagram is L E M S, the number five three seven. Lems five three seven. Lex Low, Brooklyn. We have a low goose on the juice. What is this? Twenty two or twenty three? What they call it? Twenty three. Low goose. Twenty three. I love it. We know you're a low vet. Mm -hmm. I can just tell by what you got on. Mm -hmm. So how'd you get into polo? Um. Junior high school. How'd you get into it though? How I got it, because my other homeboys is into it. What is the first piece you, you landed? Um, uh, Letterman. Let's walk through the fit real quick then. Okay. The knit cap, what year is that? Um, I think 92. 92. Let me see the back of this joint. I didn't want to wear this everything ski. <laughs> I thought they had to ski. Ooh, damn. For those that don't know, that's an 80s piece. The denim? Um, this is CB Sports Ski. All right, and on feet? Clothes for boots. I forgot to ask you about your frames. Where are they from? Gazelles. Sorry. My question for you is, mm. what is one grill piece that you do not currently own? Circle Ski 87 hoodie. What color? Blue, yellow, and red. That's a rare one right there, mm. right? <laughs> you know how Ralph is? retroing a lot of the grills from mm -hmm. when we were younger, right? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I mean, I don't like it, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> How do you feel about a lot of new collectors popping up out of nowhere because he's retroing? It's all good. It's for the culture, it's right? All, it's all good. No, it's time to rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, what score would you give yourself? A 10. Everything right. 80s. <laughs> it's setting it. for the hat. Let me get you to share your Instagram. Lexus2229 Vintage. They call me Sharon, AKA Sha Polo King. Uh, Sha Polo, we're here on 42nd Street, Times Square, Low Goose on the Deuce. Yes, sir. This guy came bad already with the outfit, right? <laughs> I see the equestrian fit. Today is a ski theme. What made you do this theme? Well, it's for me, it's about being different. So when I look at my wardrobe, everybody know me as doing beer thing, and I'm comfortable with that. So my lady was like, you know what? You gotta get out the box. I said, okay. And I came out with the question. Yeah, I gotta switch it up, right? Hit him yes. in the head with it, right? Yes. How'd you get into polo? Well, I've been in it since I was little, not as much as now. A friend told me to come out to a low goose on a deuce, and ever since then, how long ago was that? 2014. Ooh, damn, you've been putting work. So I, I put I put in my work no to, to get what I got right now. <laughs> you know how like Ralph been retroing stuff? 
there's been a lot of new collectors lately. How do you feel about that? Well, for me, his retro is more vibrant now. The, the, the colors is more bright compared to when I grew up. So you don't mind it? So I don't, I don't mind it. So if I could get some of the collective pieces that he retro in now, I, I try to get it. Let's break down the fit real quick, all right? So let's start off with the bucket. The equestrian, right? When did this drop? It dropped, um, I think this year. Your frames, where are they from? Oh, to be honest with you, they Wimbledon frames. Ooh, Nobody right. know that. But let me show you that part. They Wimbledon frames. But I figure since I'm doing the coloration, everything must match. A little scarf right here. When did this drop right here? This year. This year, along with this coat? Uh, along with the coat. Love Everything that. is this year's fit. All right. You got a piece under, too. Yeah. You, you might reveal it right now, or are you saving it for later? I'm saving it for later. So y'all see it later when we battle. Pants? The pants is just regular polo khakis. Nothing, nothing special. And on feet? Oh. The feet, now yeah, that's different. That's, that's purple label. Woo. We see that so, with the butter sauce suede, right? So I, I had to do shoes. It's cold as shit out here, but I had to do something nobody would do. Should have came with the Rangers, though, you know what I'm saying? What the? <laughs> Look, <laughs> the Rangers the shoes? Yeah, I feel okay. you. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> it's time to rate the fit. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I know you bad already. <laughs> what score would you give yourself? i give myself a 10. For me, I could get a trophy tonight. All right. My Instagram page is Sha underscore Polo King. Hey, yo, Tech, Brooklyn, East New York. East New York in the house. Yes, sir. Came with the Winter Stadium look, right? How did you get into Polo? Oh, man, from when I was a kid, man, I used to see it. I used to, couldn't, I couldn't afford it because I was so young, and I used to see all the older OG heads with them shits, and I was like, oh, man, that's the style right there, you know? How has Polo evolved from the 90s until now? I think we're keeping it alive, man. We got OGs like this is keeping keeping the culture alive, you know what I'm saying? And it's been it's been a hell of a ride, I'll tell you that much. You know, there's a lot of people that started collecting polo recently after all the retro's been dropping, right? How do you feel about that? I think it's cool, man. It cool. It, it gives it it gives it life to the next generation, you know what I'm saying? And once they if they keep dropping that shit, you know, the next generation will pick it up. And keep the keep the culture alive, you know. It helps with the polo stock as well. Oh right? hell yeah, man! You gotta <laughs> you gotta get them 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 the joints. <laughs> Don't do nothing stupid. Let's talk about the fit a little you bit. Already, Let's already. Let's start off with the with the stadium cap, right? See the P wing, Love stadium, that. stadium scarf as well. Ooh, there you go. You got the got the mashup, right? Okay. Got the P wing. Shout That's out to the rack low. Let me see this piece on the outside. Okay, Swiss patch right there, the stadium, P wing on this side. The matching pants, this guy's coming correct. The Jordan the and socks. the socks to match. Oh, gotta keep it fresh. Let me see the watch, I see the watch. All uh, right, it's a little light, it's a little light. A little something right. light. My boy Phantom all day, skinny pro caps all day. And then the frames as well, What's We got from? the classic gazelles, you already know. Let me get you to share your Instagram. Uh, you can follow me at H-U-E-T-E-K. That's Hutech. Peace. Primal Law 718. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I represent Bushwick Low Lives. So I got into low, let's say, um, 90s, you know, um, with Ziggy. They were dancing. Right. So basically, like, I was in the club. So basically, like, most of the times I was in the club. So the first thing that we did, we formed a dance crew called the Polo Dancers. So most of the people that, that, so I was basically always into low. Oh, love the Aztec look. Today's a ski theme, right? I see the ski hat. Why don't you come out with the Aztec? Representing the Latino culture and um, just to see that, uh, make sure that we're represented in, in every aspect of, of, of the life. You know, we've been here also from day one, um, not to take away from anybody else, but you know, this is, you know, this is us, you know, this is what we rep. As you get older into the collecting of the low, you you know you start off with the bright colors, the high techs, and all this other stuff. Then as you get a little older, you can't kind of wear all that high color stuff. So the the Aztec is more of a well-rounded collection where you could go and I could actually go to work 
with, you know, I'm not going to wear this to work, but, <laughs> you know. Let's talk about some of the pieces you have on. I do see the ski theme with the corduroy, right? Right, that's called, it's actually called the flip ski. Tell us about the Aztec poncho. Let me see the back of this joint. Woo! This is called the fireball, right? This is, yeah, this is what they call the fireball. No uh, doubt. They, they, they make very little of this um, poncho, but um, if you could get your hands on it, it's world worth it. It's, I'm very warm. Then under it, I do have um, other other oh, so, pieces. So for everybody out there, this is for the battle, but he's going to give us a sneak peek, right? Right. So so basically, I, I do have another Ooh. Aztec piece under it. I see that. You're gonna, you guys are going to see it when I... See when the I, rest. We'll see the rest a little bit later. Right. What about the denim? Well, this is... This, these are corduroys to go with the corduroy all hat. All right. It's also low, right? Right, of course. And they're all feet. These are low boots. You still gotta come out here head to toe. You gotta come it's for basically rest, right? like the, the 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 pimp jam of polo. <laughs> you coming out here with your pimp cup, I you know what I'm saying? That. And you're gonna come out here and smash. I love that. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what we do, I love you know? That. Let me ask you your opinion. So the difference between between 90s collecting and collecting in the 2020s, what's the biggest difference in your opinion? You could you could get a lot of the retro pieces, the pieces that are, have been re-released. However, what what people miss is the quality. If you don't have a point of reference, you would think that you have the shit. You understand? Through <laughs> the train eye, we can see it. Right. It's time to rate the fit right now. On a scale of one to ten, I know you come here to battle, so I know confidence is off the chains right now. <laughs> what score on a scale of one to ten would you give yourself? Uh, I'm gonna tell you like this. Stop right, man. You know what to say. I'm gonna give myself an eleven. My Instagram is Kamala718. Peace, this is Crash Warner from Brownsville, Brooklyn, NYC. Where we at right now? All right, we in Times Square by the famous steps by the ticket booth. Crash is one of the OGs, right? So uh -huh. let me get I'm you perspective. I'm Decepticon. I'm not even low life. I'm Decept. Rest in peace, Sean P. Rest in peace, Sean P. Rest in peace, Ski Black that we just lost. Rest in peace, Se Seiko Decepts that we just lost. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and these are founding fathers of these New York institutions. But are we here celebrating life? More life. More life. That. And more low. So let me, <laughs> let me, how'd you get into low? Okay, um, I have actually two eras with the polo era. I got the little horsey, little striped shirts during like the fast times. I reached my high era, the Molly Ringmore era, and since that's early 80s. But if you fast forward past anything past 85 to like 87, at a homegirl in school who was dipped out with the cross flag. And then from then, it was a rap for me. It was a rap. I seen the socks and the, and, the, and the cookie chucks that she had. I was like, what? And she had the, had the stripe hood. Forget about it. Let me ask you this. What is the, what's your first piece? My first low piece was a brown cream and like a royal blue long sleeve that had the horse at the bottom hem. Let's break down the fit a little bit, okay. right? The vest, of course, right? All right. Um, a little custom the, job on it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, real quick just to really represent for my brother Seiko that passed away. Um, this is like the Winter Games vest. I just sold the goose. The uh, Trapper hat, though, is a Ralph sample. You know what I'm saying? It's a Sherlin drink that I had caught at one of the sample sales. The Alpine joints I done had forever. This is like a Herman's cop, you know what I'm saying? You know, the Polo USA. Let me see the, the cookie big cookie. Like some Superman shit. Like some, uh. the big cookie joint. Right? <laughs> the denim, was that from? This is rugby. And our feet. How do you feel about Uncle Ralph retroing the grills from our, our childhood? Okay, I don't have a problem with the retros. My thing is the quality, right? The 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 needle point in the embroidery. I'm one of them dudes. Don't use subpar materials because that's not what you're known for. You don't want to be known for the subpar when you're known for elegance. Ralph can dress man, woman, and child in your animal, in your house. You know what I'm saying? So don't go ch L cheapo with the iron on letters and all the other. Nah, everybody got a story, right? But it was just about getting fresh. Coming up here to 40 dudes, going to the movies, like this is Disney World right now. But like back then, it was seedy. And then we went to school over in Hell's Kitchen, which is two blocks old. It's a whole nother world in the bright lights of Broadway, you know? But we had fun, right? Get dressed up, meet some fly ladies, 
you know, might smoke some chiba, you know what I'm saying? That's how old I am. It was called reefer and chiba. You go to movies, they go watch some kung fu shit or something like, you know, and then you go on the ab and go take the pictures with the backdrops, you know, it was just life. It was just, it, you know, it was fun. It wasn't about who's better than, because these are nothing but clothes. Man make the clothes, clothes don't make the man. And if this shit make you, then you need to reevaluate your life. It's time to rate the fit. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your own fit? I'd say like an eight point five, cause I'm me, I'm doing it lightweight right now. You I'm not out here to win any, you know, um trophy, you know, anything like that. But I most definitely can can stand amongst the greats with it. I'm on Instagram. It's Crash with a K. K-R-A-S-H W-E-R-K-Z.